My name is Rexa and welcome to The Long Dark. Today, I was going to load up and play the survival mode, just because it's the one I've got the most experience with in this game. It's been a very long time since I played, so I don't know anything. So that doesn't really matter. But I did notice there is a thing here called Wintermute, and apparently it's a story mode for The Long Dark. I had no idea this had a story mode or was getting one, so let's do that today. I honestly had no idea The Long Dark had a story or was ever getting one. I got this really, really early on in its development life. I really enjoy survival games. I absolutely love them. So when I saw this and its art style, I was sold. So I've only ever played the survival mode every couple of months just to see where it is. And I come on now and see it's got somewhat of a story mode. What? Hell yes. Written and directed by Raphael Van Lierop. Oh, that was one hell of an opener. My God. When they said it was a scripted, episodic story, they weren't kidding. They got the introduction nailed down. <laughs> that, honestly, that would be fit for a TV show, as it is right now. Astrid. Whoa, this is... Oh, he's got something in his... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, that did actually make me feel a bit sick. <laughs> Twelve hours earlier. Ooh. Caribou. <laughs> the Joker. The Joker. Seems about right. Hmm. It does. I don't know why our voice is so Feels deep. Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Yes, we should. How do we get up? Oh, F. Oh. So, pressing F opens up a status inventory. Okay, how do we start fire? Start fire. Uh, we need... Starter, tinned up. We have none. Okay, so we need to go and get that stuff. So, if we... Take firewood. And then a starter. Huh. Oh. Wonderful. Wow, look at that. So we're up in the mountains surviving, I, I presume. Not bad. Okay, start fire. We have wood matches, tinder. We need tinder. Accelerant, optional. We've got that caribou on the, on the desk. Oh, we can't use it. Oh, huh, okay. No accelerant any here. Yeah, I had no idea this was this had a story mode. That's quite a nice surprise to return to it after God knows how long. And to find it's got a story mode, it's like wow, the value of the game has just increased tenfold. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Hey, and that will last one hour thirty-five minutes, and my temperature is going up by eight degrees. Woo! Cool. I like this. Okay, can we interact with anything? I believe not. Just the things that we're meant to interact with. Okay. Man, that's... That's pretty. Yeah, I got this game. Years ago. For its art style alone. And... Wow. What's in here? Oh, so can we sleep? Not sleepy enough for a nap yet. Who's that? Those were better days. Those were better days. Candy bar! Eat it. Yes, eat it. Woo! Eating, eat quickly by selecting items under food in the radio menu. Press J for more info. Okay, so right now we are not too tired. Our cold, is, I think that means that our temperature is going up. And this is so in depth. I don't remember it being like this. This is awesome. But I do have a lot to learn at this point. Oh, we can pee pee. I like the plane. Well, here we are, old girl. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great advent. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Getting pretty late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. Guess it's nap time. Just wanna... Yeah, I can't open a garage door. <laughs> New objective, take a nap. 
Hooray! Oh. What could that be? I don't know, but I don't want their answer. It's too early. Oh! Cutscenes! Jack Rabbit, remote <laughs> transport. Mackenzie speaking. Well, well, slow down, Marie. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know where you need the money. The weather service. It's okay, Marie. I've got it from here. Who the hell? Uh. uh. Hello, Will. Who are you? What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since. I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well, a case. What brings you? I mean, are you sick? <laughs> no, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I this is the most flat you. conversation ever. <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great oh. Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Are you going to take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Ooh. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. <laughs> so I wonder if we're tasked with going up there, and then we crash, and then we have to figure out how to survive. Man, this is like Walking Dead, like Telltale is Walking Dead, Let's but more see. survival. Two people plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel. Oh, spacebar opens the radial menu. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Okay. Oh, select extra cargo optional. Oh, that's cool. So can we bring herbal tea? <laughs> can we bring the hot plate? Okay, I'm taking herbal tea. <laughs> First aid kit. Water, energy bars, purification tablets. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but I'd hate to end up in a mysterious case. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Wherever she's going, she must not be planning to stay long. Can I really not take my Parker then? Hmm. Load Astrid's gear into the plane. So I, I assume I do it in the hatch? Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, so we've got a limit of 15 kilograms. Oh, crap. Okay, so Astrid's hard case. Oh, God. We are limited. <laughs> uh, she we needs her stuff. And, we can go. and then what do we need? Emergency food? Emerg first aid kit or distress? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. Paco! I see you're still wearing it. Huh? Wearing what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh, they were married! Oh. Ah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. But I did. I did it for us. You don't have to. The soundtrack is pretty sweet, I've got to admit. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to say. Mackenzie, not now. There's just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. Whoa! That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Oh. Shit. What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight.
At that speed? Yeah, you'd be dead. And here we are. Right back where we started. Literally. Astrid. Oh, that's that. That really does make me sick. Astrid. That's horrible. I must have gone right through the windshield. Oh Christ! Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. Bloody hell! The crash. Great breakdown. Okay, so this is where we got to start surviving, I guess. <laughs> okay, anything to take? Do we have that first aid kit, or do we need to get up there to get it? I assume we would need to get up there. Wait, what was that? Use first aid kit to stop the blood loss. Uh, space bar. First aid. Bandage. Uh, plane crash and injuries. Oh, Christ. Okay, left hand is bleeding. Nice. Try to climb out of the ravine. Ooh. Just want to make sure I've not left anything behind. Oh, God. Sprained wrist and a sprained ankle. Yeah, we're not going to be having a fun time out here. <laughs> sure, take it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What the hell died in here? Oh, we can't run, can we? Sprained ankle. This is pretty neat. I've got to... <gasps> Ooh, this is also pretty. <gasps> wow. <laughs> yeah, it's been a couple of years since I last played. Aww. This carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? You. Yeah. Estimated cost to harvest. Oh, Christ. 2.5. I forgot it um, kind of assimilates time. Cook raw meat before eating to avoid dangerous afflictions. I think that goes without saying, really. Oh, do we climb up here? Climb that. Yeah, you probably could. <sighs> you probably can't. <sighs> Damn. So do we need to make a splint? How would we do we that? Find some shelter from this wind. Okay, so we need to go back down there. Right, right here. Too far away to place object. Oh, you're just going to be close to it. Okay. And then start fire. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. Good thing we've got a bed. Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. Mm. Because she's hurt. Or worse. Yeah, we'll head up now and try and find her. Get back up to the crash site. This is really nice though. I am genuinely, genuinely shocked that this even has a story mode. And it's really good. Oh, is that strawberries? Hi. Oh, Rose. Huh? The fruit of a wild rose. Oh, ah, sure. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um, a very cold Firewatch. <laughs> if Firewatch came back for a sequel in the mountains, this would be it. Finally made it. All right, let's quickly take a look. We are very thirsty. Our temperature went numb. We have no afflictions. Fantastic. No sprained ankle. No sprained wrist. Feels like fight. This is so in depth. It's really cool. <laughs> oh, and you even have the missions. You can look back on your missions. You even have a compendium. Whoa! My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Definitely the plane. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Where's Astrid? Okay, is there anything to salvage? I've been looking for you. Hey, now we're gonna be warmer. Astrid's back. Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> we're not getting in there. Locked. 
Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Hey! Hey! Oh, definitely, but hey. Bedroll. Definitely need that. So this is a full survival game with a story mode built around it. This is fantastic. This is really nice. So yes, the way that Hinterland Studios kind of made this game, they made the survival game, and then they must have just added the story on around the base mechanics. That's what I said DayZ should do. I said DayZ should just focus on the world building and mechanic building, and then just add the zombies later on. Restore your condition by resting. I shall do that later. Too cold to think. Cold, how are you doing? Oh, freezing. Wait, are we not wearing the parka? Oh god, we're not. <laughs> okay, so now we should be a lot warmer, I hope. Uh, it doesn't say it's going good right now. Not good. Okay, find somewhere warm before hypothermia develops. I shall do soon. Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? Yeah, we're not doing too well. I need to light this fire. Quick! Before we die! Fire's hey, beautiful! Okay, take some of that to reimburse what I just spent. Oh yeah, I'm really not doing well. Why is my health going down then? Okay, hypothermia. Okay, it's going up. We need to eat. He's ravenous. Honestly, I really like this. I'm genuinely blown away by this. Okay, we're slowly warming up a lot more. Just gonna get as close as I can. My problem with this game, though, was I never put too much time into it. I never invested too much time, so I never really learnt how to survive to the game's standards and mechanics. So I was always a bit out of my depth. So I would always end up dying. And it seems like it's gonna be the same here. <laughs> Why did you throw your torch, you fool? No, don't extinguish. Okay, my health is not going up at all here. Oh, that's going down, though. Yay, no afflictions. Damn it. Okay, so I think you need to aim your thumb where you want it to go. Yeah, that's pretty much what you've got to do, I believe. Now I just need to wait for it to come back around. Oh. His ankle is making it really hard. Yes! Oh, that's a horrible noise. Ah! You jack... Oh, you little... Spooky wookie. <laughs> What's the that? What is that? Whoa! Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Painkiller is beautiful. That is so weird. Great, a town. Maybe I can town? find out. Oh! Hey, maybe we will. It's kind of funny though to load up a game to to try out the survival aspect, and then you just end up playing a story mission. <laughs> But yes, this is, I know it's a bit late into the video to say, this is a survival game developed by Hinterland Studios, and I've quite enjoyed it throughout the entire time I've owned it. I would revisit every 6, 12 months maybe, I don't know, and just see how the game's doing. But to see a story mode really surprised me. <laughs> Hello? Anyone out there? Ooh, somebody frozen again. Oh no, just dead. Ooh. Nothing. This is so creepy. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Wow. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Hello? hello? Oh, <laughs> he said hello too. Okay. Anybody here? Leave house. Do we have any lights? No. Okay, search for people before you... Oh, there is. Hello? Please don't shoot me. Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy shit. Yep, saw that coming. <laughs> Who holds your fire? Get back. There's a woman. 
Okay, okay. You just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Grey Mother it is! Okay, so... What do we do then? What's our task? Won't tell me. Do I not have a task now? I'm gonna have a nosy round, I hope you don't mind. This is where she creeps up behind me and shoots me, isn't it? So I wonder what we're meant to do here. Are we meant to just leave now or... Are we actually meant to explore? Hmm. Just gonna take that, hope you don't mind. <laughs> Learn to mend and maintain. Oh, is that what we're meant to do now? The basics of survival. Learn. Ah, learn to mend and maintain. Okay, so if I go here, actions, repair, I need two cloth, which I do not have. And probably won't have for a long time. Do you have the key on you then? I don't think so. Okay, you know, I've just got to leave. I need to find my friend. Yeah, I don't know what the heck I'm doing now. What does it say? Tab. Uh, I don't have any objectives. God, we're warm, though. Okay, we'll have to go back there when... Oh, look at that! That's nice! Yeah, we'll have to go back there whenever we get cold. Hey! <laughs> no more cash. That was creepy. Cloth. Break down, yes! Requires light to break down with tool. Damn it! So, at this point, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. None at all. So I think I might call it there. This is wonderful, though. I'm gonna need to come back to this very soon. Because A, I want to do just survival, and B, I really want to see where the story goes. But since it's Christmas week, I'm not doing... I'm trying to take it easy. I've got a lot of shopping to do. I've got family to see. So, I don't really have much time. I do hope everybody understands we'll, that we'll be taking it easy. I do see something a little per head, though. So, we'll check that out just before we call the video there. But yes, I do hope everybody understands that this video isn't as long purely because there's so much to do this week. But again, I, I really like this. So, we will definitely revisit this. Oh, okay. oh it's a fuel station. Requires pry bar. Where the hell am I going to get one of them? Okay, so we pretty much need a pry bar for everything. Oh, we're sat in the car! That's cool. Do we have a radio? No. Search glove box. Pry bar! I would have been surprised. Okay, so I am officially out of my depth. <laughs> this is pretty neat, though. So I guess my next task is to find a pry bar. Because the game has actually stopped giving me tasks. Next time we revisit this, we will have to figure out what we did. But seriously, thank you so much for joining me on this video. This was a really pleasant surprise to find out it's got a story mode. I will come back to this. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and comment, as it really does support the channel. Thank you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.